What's up guys and welcome to another PC Guide video. Today's topic, bottlenecking. So what the hell is that? Sounds like something pervert, right? But this is actually a huge problem when you upgrade your old PC. A lot of people ask me since the last PC build videos things like, will a 1080 run good with my i3 processor? No, it probably won't. It will hold back the performance because your CPU in some games will reach 100%, while your GPU is far away from the 100%. So better get a baseline i5. But well, today I want to show you guys that this is really true and not some Google bullshit. I got here a Biostar J3160M with a onboard Intel Celeron J3160 quad-core processor clocked at 2.24 GHz and as well 8GB of DDR3 memory clocked at 1600 MHz. It's a micro ATX motherboard of integrated CPU and GPU and today we'll slap a XFX 290X Black Edition on it. This is just a very bad example which you wouldn't see in reality, but it describes bottlenecking pretty good though. So what do you think? How much FPS would you gain or get? Would you be able to play the newest games? Simple answer, no. As a comparison, my video editing setup here right now with the same GPU but an i7-5820K. In GPU only benchmarks, there won't be a difference at all. As long as both have the same speed PCIe port and enough power from the supply, you won't see a real noticeable difference. As you can see in the Fermac benchmark, both GPUs reach the same FPS rate and both are super smooth. But when it comes to CPU and GPU mixed applications like gaming, you can see that the CPU is bottlenecking the GPU. For instance, on the Biostar JD3600M setup, I could barely play Killing Floor. Newer games didn't run at all, while on my i7 setup, I could play everything, even the newest games. So right now, I play a lot of Rainbow Six Siege and it runs fine. So if you configure a system, don't buy the cheapest CPU you can find like a $100 CPU and slap a $400 GPU on it. It won't give you the full potential. Same for the opposite way. Never buy a one grand CPU and slap a $100 GPU on it. This will perform really bad, but it depends on what you're doing. So if you're Bitcoin mining with the GPU only, who cares about the damn CPU, so CPU won't matter. In gaming it's different, so the CPU also plays a big role because it's doing the AI, UI, physics and much more. But then you also need a decent GPU that helps rendering the details, AA and whatever. So now you know what a bottleneck is, but how to avoid it? Well, you can check www.thebottlenecker.com and check your components. But this is not really a good advice, but it helps in the first way. The question is always, how big is the bottleneck you can live with? And to check it, you can simply ask in forums, so for people who already built the system or if you already got the hardware, you can monitor your GPU and CPU usage with the Open Hardware Monitor or MSI Afterburner or CAM, and I'll link to all of them down below. All in all, the Biostar JD3600M is a great board that even handles 4K well and it does a good job in my office PC, but the second 290X will go back in crossfire to my video rendering slave here. I hope you enjoyed it and always think twice when you upgrade or build a new setup. There are also other bottlenecks like a too low power supply or even slow memory. Always build balanced. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day and make sure you comment this video, leave a like down below and also subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and bye bye.